AMD might have a graphics card that you should be able to buy. EA is not fixing games in FIFA, okay? And an RTX 3090 running at 1,000 watts? Let's get in to the hot news, my friends. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna get into the hottest tech news that you can find on the internet. But before we do, could you smash the like button with the ferocity of a 1,000 nibbling squirrels? <laughs> Make sure they're not nibbling you, friends. Now let's jump into the big topic of the day, which is AMD announced their RX 6700 XT GPU. They're saying that this is gonna launch on March 18th at $479, which puts it just under the RTX 3070. This is all theoretical, obviously, because none of these cards actually really exist in real life. But let's talk about the specs for a second. So it's gonna have 40 compute units, up to 2.4 gigahertz on its game clock, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 96 megabytes of infinity cache, 230 watt board power, and obviously AMD's smart ass memory. And you can see in AMD's own benchmarks, they're saying that it beats out the RTX 3070 and RTX 3060 Ti, of which it would go toe to toe again, saying it's a sweet spot for 1440p gaming. Likely what we're gonna find in this scenario, just like with the 6800 XT and 6900 XT, is that these are likely gonna be true. Obviously wait for third party benchmarks before you commit to anything, but once you start factoring in rate tracing optimizations and DLSS, AMD kind of loses the game to NVIDIA, but if you only care about pure rasterization and that's what you're betting on for the next however long in the future, then this might actually make sense. But it seems like AMD just has a habit of cannibalizing their previous graphics cards. So if we just look here at a brief spec comparison from the 6700 XT to the 6800, the 6800 for $100 more really isn't worth it because you just spend an extra $70 and get that 6800 XT. So the 6700 XT seems to make sense at 479, 6800, now makes less sense at 579, but it's still there in case you don't quite have the cash to pony up $650, allegedly, if you can actually find them at these prices. But AMD wanted us to remain sure that we're gonna have significantly more GPUs available. We know it's crazy out there. We're doing everything that we can. With the AMD Randy on RX 6700 XT launch, we are on track to have significantly more GPUs available for sale and launch. I've heard this before. AMD, where's my 10 bucks? Or where's the guy's 10 bucks that you bet on Twitter? Huh, Frank Azor, you, you, you promised that it wasn't gonna be a paper launch and to all extents and purposes for how people interpreted what that guy was saying, you had just as much of a paper launch as Nvidia did. So I don't necessarily trust you when you say you're gonna do better because you already kind of promised that and then it didn't actually pan out. And I don't know why I'm being kind of condescending right now, but it's just the flow that I decided to go with because I'm pissed off about the GPU market, aren't you? I don't know, but you know what? gets me settled about the GPU market. The fact that I have a good friend in Power Colors Hellhound. This actually got announced before AMD made their announcement, but the 6700 XT Hellhound is now here. Look at this beautiful demon machine. Hmm, yeah, hockey. Frick yeah, it's my new gaming weapon. Gonna eat all the dirges of Cerberus. Why is Cerberus so sad? Why is he singing dirges? Speaking of AIB partner cards, you can see that AMD showed off a brief list of the different ones you could get, XFX. I think the Yesta one's looking pretty good. Uh, so just uh, pick your flavor. Which is your favorite 6700 XT? Let me know down below in the comments. But also with that, AMD announced that their smart ass memory is coming to Ryzen 3000 processors. This is where you actually use resizable bar to get the GPU and the CPU more in sync. Nvidia has these features, Intel has these features, and up until the announcement yesterday, AMD only had this on Ryzen 5000. So this is a good announcement that your smart ass memory can come to your outdated chip. But my smart ass memory can't remember a time where GameStop wasn't relevant. So let's get into the GameStop update. It actually went up 5% yesterday. Heck yeah, to 124 and a half. It's down in aftermarket, but it went kerchew up and the stonks keep on stonking. So does the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin update. Look at that, 50 and a half thousand as of the time recording. It's not as high as it's 24 hour high at 52 and a half. It kind of came down from there. Settled down like, you know, a pupper that just got way too excited when its owner came home, but still over 50. Bitcoin going big. That's the end of the game's up Bitcoin update. I did it backwards today. And EA does things backwards all the time. And they were being investigated for potentially fixing matches in their FIFA game with their dynamic difficulty adjustment. This was some a lawsuit that was placed against EA back in 2018 because it was found that, that EA had this dynamic difficulty adjustment and it would could potentially affect the outcomes of FIFA ultimate team matches, which would not necessarily be good. However, after speaking with EA engineers, they found 
found out that this wasn't actually implemented into the FIFA video game specifically, especially in these portions, and it was just something that they developed and they could have implemented, but they didn't. And now that the investigation's done, are they maybe gonna implement it in something else? I don't know. You're never gonna investigate in the same thing twice. That's double jeopardy, I've heard. People don't go through the same door twice. You enter through the front door, you leave out the back. That's modern Southern culture, friends. And modern culture indicates that I should probably get into Valheim. And uh, it turns out that it sold 5 million copies in one month, netting $100 million in revenue. This game that for me came from nowhere, 500,000 concurrent players, 5 million copies. It is blowing up like a gas pump. I've been watching too much subreddit of idiot and cards, my bad. What's also blowing up is demons in Sony announcing new PSVR titles, including Doom 3 for VR, which is going to be coming out on March 29th. They announced five additional titles. We'll leave a link in the video description in case you have that garbage VR headset and you actually want to use it. And everybody who tries to defend the PSVR after I slander it, I just want you to know I've used it and it's garbage, okay? You can tell me, no, it's not garbage or it wasn't garbage when it came out. It was bad and it's still bad. The resolution is awful. The refresh rate is terrible and it's multiple cords. It's just such a slog to get a subpar experience. It's nonsense and Sony should have done better. Stop defending them and stop defending your right to not use Linux, Steam. Now having Steam Stream Link available on Linux so you can stream to everybody. That means that if it has Linux, you could stream to it, okay? Maybe potentially, even the new upcoming gaming GPU PC that's on a Tesla, somehow you hack that, you get 64-bit Linux working on, it has to be wired network, but maybe not. Maybe you could Wi-Fi it in, you could play games, even though it has a 10.2 teraflop GPU in the car. I'm driving this bit into the dirt. Let's get into somebody who's driving their GPU up, and that is this RTX 3090 Hall of Fame edition from Galax. There was a YouTuber who was actually able to get a custom BIOS on it that could bring it up to 1,000 watts this is going to be insane for liquid nitrogen overclocking maybe potentially it doesn't necessarily scale linearly with just wattage and they actually found that out with the card they didn't have it on ln2 but it could pull over 600 watts with them using it and get up to 96 degrees so it was a spicy meatball but with that spice they found that it only performed about two percent faster than the regular card so it's not again one for one you're definitely going to need lower temperatures to get any sort of effectiveness out of this and i'm effectively going to leave you since this is the end of this episode of Hot News. Click this right here to get caught up with yesterday's episodes of Hot News. You can click this to get caught up with all of the weeks because it's a playlist and it'll feed you a new one right after the other like you're a little baby and I'm your mother with a spoon that's gonna fly into your mouth.